Welcome to the Helix Nautilus Wallet introduction video. This video will help you to install and configure your wallet. First, you should download the wallet from our official website. After download, double click on the application and follow your operating system's installation instructions. Once the app is installed, open it and the initial screen will allow you to set your preferred language. Press the continue button. Please read the Nautilus terms and conditions carefully. Scroll down to accept them by pressing the I accept button. Please read the Nautilus privacy statement carefully. Scroll down to accept them by pressing the I accept button. To set up a new account, you must generate a new seed. A seed is the only way for you to access your funds. If you lose your seed, your funds will be lost forever. No one, including Helix, can retrieve lost funds, so please, securely store your seed. In the current version of the wallet, your seed will be securely saved for you in a password-protected file. To create your seed, click the Create Seed button. Rectangular boxes will appear with random characters in a matrix. Click on the characters in any position you wish and repeat the process for the remaining boxes. A progress bar will display your seed's strength. When the progress turns green, your seed has been generated. Press the continue button. You also need to set up an account name for the seed in your wallet. Your account name is specific to your wallet and simply helps you to differentiate between multiple seeds you may have in your wallet. After you finish, press the confirm button. You will be prompted to securely back up your seed in a seed vault file. Start by clicking the yellow check sign. A message will appear explaining that the seed vault file is a password protected keypass file. You can drag and drop seed vault files in designated areas to use your protected seed. To proceed with the creation of the password protected seed vault file, click the continue button. A new message will appear telling you to back up your seed vault file in multiple locations. Press the Continue button. Another message will appear preparing you to choose a password to encrypt your Seed Vault file. Now you can create a Seed Vault password. When you drag and drop the Seed Vault file in your wallet, you will be prompted for this password. Thus, your Seed Vault password will protect your funds by prohibiting unauthorized users of your Seed Vault file. After entering your new password, please click on the export button and save your seed vault file someplace on your computer. Click on the export button to continue and then click on the confirm button in the wallet to continue. You are prompted to drag and drop your newly created seed vault into the designated area of the wallet. This is the only time you will need to log in with your seed. In the future, you may use your account password to log in. You will then be prompted to enter your Seed Vault password. Please do so. When you're done, click Import Seed Vault and then click Confirm. Next, you will be prompted to create an account password. This is a device specific password that you use to log in to your wallet. When you're done, click Confirm. Congratulations, your wallet is all set up. Click on the Login button. If you wish, it is possible to add multiple accounts to one wallet. In the upper right hand corner, Click on the drop down box next to your account name to add an account. You will then repeat the same process to generate a new seed and create an additional account or use a previously existing seed to add an account. Please note, however, that the password you use to log in to the wallet will remain the same. However, if you create a new seed, you will need to create a new password for the seed vault file because you are creating a new seed and it requires unique encryption. Later, you can delete one of the accounts by going to the settings and clicking on the Remove Account button.